With the armor types coming back, an entire season dedicated to Reach, as well as the recent quote from Joseph Staten about Reach's influence with Halo Infinite, it seems to be a lot stronger than just cosmetics. And in this video, we're going to talk about why Halo Reach is the game that's going to be strongly influencing Halo Infinite. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. <laughs> Now it's very obvious to tell that 343 is grabbing a lot of influence from Halo Reach into Halo Infinite, down to the assault rifle that we see Master Chief use within the campaign, the level of customization and the types of customization that we have for multiplayer now, and how we have actual like Halo Reach armor going to be in Season 1 of Halo Infinite, tells you that Halo Reach is going to be a very strong influence on Halo Infinite. But in my opinion, stronger as in uh, probably a story element and tied to the story of Halo Infinite, and creative director Joe so Staten kind of hints at that with the most recent development update. So in this video, I want to do some theory crafting with you guys to talk about Reach's influence on Halo Infinite. So you guys like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. You want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite. Make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So this quote in the most recent Inside Infinite development update, which we did make a video on, guys, if you want to get all the TLDR of that post, check out that video on the channel here. But Joseph Stain said this in particular, which made me think it, that Reach is much more than just some cosmetics that we're getting for Season 1 of Halo Infinite. Saying here, I can share that we picked Heroes of Reach as a seasonal theme for very specific reasons. Reach has a rich history. It takes a key location for Spartans of old and a focal point for a new generation of Spartans preparing to wrestle with the perils and mysteries of a galaxy that has fundamentally changed after the events of Halo 5. And within this highlighted link here saying Reach has a rich history, it takes you right to the Halopedia page so you can catch up with all the lore about the planet Reach, which there is a ton of information about this within the Halo universe. And even before we had this reveal from Joseph Staten that we've been seeing a really strong tie to Halo Reach throughout the entirety of all these news and information leaks that we've been covering on the channel for years now at this point, that the main game we keep seeing a big tie-in is with Halo Reach. We're going to see Halo Reach style armor cores within Halo Infinite as it shows right here on the Xbox website, showing right here Armor Core Mark V Reach armor set right here. I mean, we're going to have these straight up, just like what, what we had for Halo 5 with the Shadows of Reach expansion. Well, this is going to be the very first season. We're going to have some Halo Reach armor that we're gonna have for customization. We've seen Reach themed toys even, as in Jazzwares website here, which is one of the main pages here that has Halo Infinite style toys. We have a Mark V Spartan right here, which is very interesting to make an exact toy of a Mark V Reach style armor set within Halo Infinite. Why not the other armor sets that we're gonna see within Halo Infinite? We have Halo Reach specifically here. During the February 2020 toy reveal showcase on a lot of this stuff, we had right here Master Chief himself along with Cat from Halo Reach, which is quite interesting to show Cat, who's obviously died in Halo Reach, right next to Master Chief for like the Halo Infinite set of toys that you guys can get. Because you have right next to Cat is the Mark VII armor set that we've seen in all of the, the kind of more generic Halo Infinite style of armor. Within that same presentation, we have obviously Master Chief right here, but then you also see Spartan Palmer's helmet right there, and also what looks to be Carter's helmet as well. I mean, it even has Halo Infinite written right on the tags of these like face mask things. So why try to sell Reach style of armor sets when you're playing Halo Infinite? I know Palmer was introduced in Halo 4 and her armor set's much more Halo 4 influenced, but she's a prominent character that's been brought into the Halo lore, so you can totally see her to come back and not to see her armor change too much. And we have the book Shadows of Reach, which literally takes place on Reach with Blue Team as well, kind of getting back some of those old nostalgic feels, where, as a spoiler here, guys, but of course, again, the, the book's been out since October, so if you haven't caught up to it, you probably won't now, but they go on to Reach to capture this kind of remnant AI to possibly be used maybe for the weapon that we have in Halo Infinite's campaign of some sort. And this book is supposed to be kind of a precursor to set up the story for Halo Infinite. Obviously, it's not a necessary read, but helps provide a little bit more context. And obviously, what we've seen from the campaign, Master Chief is utilizing the MA-40 assault rifle, which is not ex the exact assault rifle that was used in Halo Reach, but I mean, like, look at this thing. This is the Reach assault rifle 
in Halo Infinite, and we haven't seen any other kind of gameplay of any other assault rifle, this is a Halo Reach influence assault rifle. So why Reach? Why such a strong emphasis on Reach aesthetic within Halo Infinite? And various toy reveals have really put a big emphasis on Reach as well. As you can see right here, we have a Halo Infinite tag right on the top of this toy right here. But when you look over this, that's the plasma repeater that we know and kind of like from Halo Reach. Why would you advertise this as a Halo Infinite toy? And if this gun not in the game, it wouldn't help it sell better. So I'd be shocked if we don't have the plasma repeater coming back within Halo Infinite. Of course, also the art style of the Elite is very much in the style of like Halo Reach as well. Another toy reveal here showcases a new Halo Infinite weapon, which I think is called the Shock Rifle, if I remember correctly. At least that's what I've been referred to it as. This Elite is holding the Focus Rifle from Reach as well. And the armor customization that we've seen for Halo Infinite is very very much influenced by Halo Reach as so the types of customization. Of course, we have even more than we did have in Halo Reach, but like all pretty much the same kind of stuff that we've seen before, like, you know, the shoulders, the chest, knee pads, helmets, visors, and things like that. For the most part, stuff that we all had back in 2010 for Halo Reach. But of course, I mean, do remember Chris Lee did state back, I believe, in December of 2019 saying if you like Halo Reach's customization, you're going to like Halo Infinite's. So the big thing I want to point out, guys, is just this huge emphasis on Reach. We've been seeing nothing but Reach along with Halo Infinite. You know, why not Halo 4 or Halo 5 or Halo 3, Halo 2, or even CE style of armors or customization or anything like that? It's been a heavily influenced by Reach. Like, why is Jazzware making like a cat style action figure that's, you know, was been popular like back in 2010, 11 years ago, making them now. Because what I feel like what's going to happen here with some theory crafting was go with these guys from what Joseph Stein said and the huge influence of Reach and every bit of leaks that we've seen about Halo Infinite have also had Reach tied with it, makes me feel that we're going to see Halo Reach involved with Halo Infinite's story in some capacity. Like I mentioned earlier with the book Shadows of Reach, where Blue Team was able to go to Halsey's office and grab kind of like this remnant of an AI that was kind of like an older sister to Cortana in a way. Kind of like a work in progress Cortana that never was finished because Cortana was the finished build of what Halsey was working on. And with the combination of Joseph Stain, again, just want to reiterate this, putting this all home, guys, saying it's a key location for Spartans of old and a focal point for a new generation of Spartans. So why such a huge emphasis of reach with Halo Infinite? I mean, there's a million different ways that 343 could possibly craft up a story to have it tie in with Halo Reach. Maybe we have some flashback moments where you play on Reach or something like that. Also, you even play as Blue Team on the planet Reach to capture that AI. But of course, that's just complete speculation at this point. I'm just saying, don't be too surprised if when you're playing the Halo Infinite campaign, you end up doing something involved with Reach. I mean, there's a reason why they linked the lore of Halo Reach within this blog update when talking about the planet. For some reason, you're gonna want to know more about that planet and the events of that game when playing Halo Infinite. But like I said, there's a million different ways 343 can go about doing this. As soon as we get some more information about this, guys, I guarantee I'll let you know on this channel. So if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right here. I've been uploading like a madman the last couple weeks. These videos will keep you up to date with all the Halo news going around. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.